What happens when you step into the mystery of life? This simple question opens up a world of possibilities, challenges, and growth. Many of us feel stuck, unsure of how to move forward on our spiritual path. We'll tackle this problem head on, giving you practical tools and insights to help you navigate the unknown with confidence and excitement. Let's start by looking at the comfort zone trap. It's human nature to stick with what we know. We like routines, familiar faces, and predictable outcomes. But have you ever stopped to think about what this comfort might be costing you? While it feels safe, staying in your comfort zone can hold you back from amazing experiences and personal growth. Think about the last time you tried something new. Maybe it was a bit scary at first, but chances are you learned something valuable. That's because growth happens outside our comfort zones. When we always do what we've always done, we miss out on opportunities to discover new parts of ourselves and the world around us. But why is it so hard to leave our comfort zones? This brings us to our next topic, fear. Is fear your friend or your foe? The truth is, it can be both. Fear is a natural response to the unknown. It's your brain's way of trying to keep you safe. But sometimes, this protective instinct can go into overdrive, holding you back from experiences that could help you grow. Understanding your fear is the first step to overcoming it. When you feel afraid of something new, pause and ask yourself, what am I really afraid of? Often, you'll find that the fear is more about the idea of change than any real danger. Once you recognize this, you can start to work with your fear instead of against it. Here's a powerful idea. What if you could turn fear into excitement? They're actually very similar feelings in your body. The next time you feel afraid of trying something new, try relabeling that feeling as excitement. This simple shift can change your whole perspective. Now let's talk about the power of curiosity. Curiosity is like a superpower for spiritual growth. When you approach the unknown with curiosity instead of fear, everything changes. Instead of seeing obstacles, you start to see opportunities. You become like a detective, eager to uncover the mysteries of life and yourself. Cultivating curiosity is easier than you might think. Start by asking questions about everything. Why do you feel a certain way? What makes the sky blue? How do other people see the world? These simple questions can lead you down fascinating paths of discovery. Remember, every great adventure starts with curiosity. Think of all the amazing discoveries throughout history. They all began because someone was curious enough to ask, what if, or why? You have that same power within you. Use it to explore your spiritual path. As you start to explore the unknown, remember that you don't have to take huge leaps. Small steps can lead to big changes. This is the power of incremental growth. Instead of trying to transform your entire life overnight, Focus on making small, consistent changes. Maybe you start with just five minutes of meditation each day. Or you decide to learn one new thing about a different culture each week. These might seem like tiny actions, but over time, they add up to significant growth. It's like compound interest for your personal development. The key is consistency. Small actions repeated over time can create massive change. So don't underestimate the power of those little steps. They're the building blocks of your spiritual journey. As you take these steps into the unknown, you might feel an urge to control everything. It's natural to want certainty, especially when you're exploring new territory. But here's a liberating truth. True control is an illusion. Life is inherently uncertain, and that's okay. Letting go of control doesn't mean becoming passive. Instead, it means learning to flow with life rather than constantly fighting against it. 
It's about trusting in the process of growth and change, even when you can't see the end result. This can be challenging at first. Our minds love to plan and predict. But as you practice letting go, you'll find a new kind of peace. You'll start to see uncertainty not as a threat, but as an opportunity for growth and surprising joys. As you let go of external control, you can start to tune into your inner wisdom. We all have an inner voice, an intuition that can guide us. But in our busy, noisy world, it's easy to lose touch with this inner knowing. Trusting your inner wisdom doesn't mean ignoring logic or reason. It's about finding a balance between your rational mind and your gut feelings. Start by paying attention to how you feel in different situations. Does a decision feel right, even if you can't explain why? That might be your intuition speaking. Developing this inner trust takes time and practice. You might make mistakes along the way, and that's okay. In fact, mistakes are valuable teachers on your spiritual journey. Our culture often sees mistakes as failures, but this view can hold us back. Every mistake is an opportunity to learn and grow. When you try something new and it doesn't work out, you haven't failed. You've just discovered one way that doesn't work, and that's valuable information. Think about a child learning to walk. They fall down countless times, but we don't call those falls failures. We recognize them as necessary steps in the learning process. The same is true for your spiritual growth. Each mistake is actually moving you forward. This shift in perspective can free you to take more risks and try new things. When you're not afraid of making mistakes, you open yourself up to so many more possibilities for growth and discovery. As you explore and learn, you'll face challenges. This is where resilience comes in. Resilience is like a muscle. The more you use it, the stronger it gets. It's the ability to bounce back from setbacks and keep moving forward. Building resilience starts with your mindset. Instead of seeing challenges as roadblocks, try to view them as opportunities to grow stronger. When you face a difficult situation, ask yourself, what can I learn from this? How can this make me stronger? Resilience also involves taking care of yourself. This means different things for different people. It might involve regular exercise, spending time in nature, or practicing meditation. The key is to find what works for you and make it a regular part of your life. Remember, being resilient doesn't mean you never struggle. It means you have the tools and the mindset to work through those struggles and come out stronger on the other side. While much of spiritual growth is internal work, connecting with others is also crucial. We're social beings, and we learn and grow through our interactions with others. Finding a community that supports your growth can make a huge difference in your journey. This doesn't necessarily mean joining a formal group, although that can be great too. It might be a few close friends who are also interested in personal growth, or it could be an online community where you can share experiences and insights. Mentors and guides can also play an important role. These are people who have walked a similar path and can offer wisdom and perspective. They might be teachers, authors, or simply people in your life who inspire you. Be open to learning from others while always trusting your own inner wisdom. As you progress on your spiritual journey, it's important to celebrate the process. Often, we get so focused on reaching a destination that we forget to enjoy the path. But in spiritual growth, the path is the whole point. Start noticing and appreciating small signs of progress. Maybe you handled a stressful situation better than you would have in the past, or perhaps you found yourself naturally being more compassionate. These are all worth celebrating. Shifting your focus from the destination to the path can bring more joy into your everyday life. It helps you stay present and appreciate each moment of growth and discovery. To support your exploration, there are many practical tools you can use. 
meditation and mindfulness practices are powerful ways to deepen your self-awareness and connect with your inner wisdom. Even just a few minutes of quiet reflection each day can make a big difference. Journaling is another valuable tool. Writing down your thoughts, feelings and experiences can help you process them more deeply. It also gives you a record of your journey that you can look back on. Try asking yourself reflective questions and writing out your answers. What did I learn today? What am I grateful for? What's challenging me right now? As you delve deeper into your spiritual journey, you might encounter doubt. This is completely normal. In fact, doubt can be a sign that you're growing and challenging your old ways of thinking. When doubt comes up, don't try to push it away. Instead, get curious about it. Where is this doubt coming from? What's it trying to tell you? Sometimes, doubt can point us towards areas where we need more growth or understanding. Remember, having doubts doesn't mean you're doing something wrong. It's a natural part of the growth process. The key is to not let doubt paralyze you. Acknowledge it, learn from it if you can, and then keep moving forward. Staying motivated during challenges is another important skill. There will be times when your spiritual path feels difficult or unclear. In these moments, remind yourself why you started this journey in the first place. What growth have you already experienced? What possibilities excite you? It can also help to break things down into smaller, manageable steps. If a practice or goal feels overwhelming, ask yourself, what's one tiny action I can take today? Remember, small steps add up to big changes over time. As you grow and change, you might start to notice something interesting. Your growth affects those around you. This is the ripple effect of personal development. As you become more self-aware, compassionate and authentic, you naturally inspire others. You don't have to preach or try to change anyone else. Simply by working on yourself and living your truth, you create a positive influence. People around you might become curious about your change and feel inspired to explore their own growth. This ripple effect shows how interconnected we all are. Your personal growth isn't just about you. It has the potential to positively impact your family, your community, and even the world at large. Remember that this video is just the beginning. The real work happens when you take these ideas and put them into action in your life. So here's a question to consider. What's one small step you can take today to explore the unknown in your spiritual journey? It doesn't have to be anything big. Maybe it's trying a new meditation technique or striking up a conversation with someone different. Whatever it is, take that step. And then tomorrow, take another one. Every great journey starts with a single step. Your spiritual path is uniquely yours with its own challenges and joys. Embrace the process, stay curious, and keep moving forward. The unknown might seem scary at first, but it's where all the growth and magic happen. Thank you for joining me on this exploration. I hope you feel inspired and empowered to continue your spiritual journey. Remember, you have everything you need within you. Trust yourself, stay open to learning, and enjoy the adventure of personal growth. As you go forward, I'd love to hear about your experiences. What resonated with you in this video? What challenges are you facing? What discoveries have you made? Sharing our stories not only helps us process our own journey, but can also inspire others. So feel free to leave a comment and join the conversation. And if you found this video helpful, consider sharing it with someone who might also benefit. Remember, we're all in this together, supporting each other as we grow and learn. Until next time, keep exploring, keep growing, and keep shining your light. The world needs your unique gifts and insights. Here's to your continued growth and discovery on your spiritual path. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video.